and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We have the Optimum 400 juicer right here in front of me and I want to go through a couple of the features very quickly before I show you how to make your very own berry sorbet in just a few minutes. This one will wow your kids, your guests and your hubby. So here we've got the Optimum 400 juicer. Now there's a great safety feature. I've got it partially assembled. If I try and turn it on now, nothing will happen. You need to assemble this fully and safely before it will start. So to make a sorbet, we're going to go through the two different little strainers that you get. One is a fine mesh strainer and the other one is a blank plate strainer. That's the one you need. I have the bowl in place, I have the little red spinning basket in place, I line the black dot up with the black dot on the edge of the juicer and you can hear it just fell into place there. I've got the squeezing screw which I lock in on top and last but not least line up the white dot with the black dot and turn the hopper into place. So very, very easy to assemble. This is the slowest slow juicer on the market. It is so very quiet that it won't bother you at all and you can do so much more than just make juice. You can juice anything in here. You can do your hard vegetables, you can do your soft vegetables, you can do citrus, you can do hard fruits, you can do small amounts of greens and if you mix them up between the hard vegetables you can make yourself some delicious green juices. We've made nut milks in here, you can do nut butters in here, you can do banana whip, berry sorbet and that's going to make me stop talking and start working. So in the bowl in front of me I have a mixture of frozen berries. I've popped some blackberries, some raspberries, and a little bit of blueberries. I'm going to drizzle a tiny bit of coconut oil over the top for flavour and for creaminess and then a squeeze of maple syrup. Now berries are pretty sweet already but because I've got those blackberries in there, a little bit of maple syrup. If you're a raw foodie then you'll know that maple syrup is not raw even though it is absolutely delicious and you could use another sweetener of your choice or leave it out altogether. I'm just going to toss the berries, the sweetener through and you'll see that the coconut has already coconut oil has already frozen to the berries. Coconut oil is magnificent for you. It is a medium chain fatty acid so even though it's a saturated fat your body is able to utilize this as an energy source and it's been linked with lowering blood pressure. So I'm going to turn this on, feed the berries and the coconut oil and maple syrup through the top scoop by scoop and out the side we'll get a nice sorbet. It's as simple as that. Comes out soft serve sorbet in just a second or two. This is great. I've always loved making sorbets in my Optimum blender but this just gives you another alternative. The Optimum 400 juicer is absolutely amazing. I really am wowed by all the things that I've been able to do. And watch for more videos coming up soon on the Fruity TV channel. We're going to look at how to make tofu using your Optimum 400 juicer. And if you want one of your own, remember in the description below is where you'll find the links to your local Fruity TV, uh, your Fruity website. We'll see you again very soon on the Fruity TV channel. Ciao for now.